More than 2.3 million Georgians have already cast ballots in this year's election. You compare that to just uh, over a million this time in 2016. Of the early ballots cast, more than 870,000 are absentee. And developing right now as those votes are counted, federal investigators believe the first ransomware attack to strike election infrastructure is right here in Georgia. Our Trayson Bragg is live at the polls this morning, and uh, Trayson cybersecurity experts say this alarming attack really hit those critical systems. Do we as voters need to uh, be concerned about that? What do we need to know? Well, right now, I think it's important to know that officials say this attack happened before early voting began. So right now they say it looks like votes are untouched and untampered with this month or earlier this month. Rather, Hall County officials announced their election infrastructure was targeted and attacked by online hackers. The attack was a ransomware attack and officials say it may be the first of its kind this election season in our nation. In ransomware attacks, hackers attack using malware that locks their victim's computer and or online systems until a ransom is paid. A Hall County official says their voter signature database and a voting precinct map on the county's website were targeted among other systems. The county says they are currently working to get all systems back online. And again, here's the good news here. They say neither votes or the voting process were affected by this attack. So again, moving forward, moving forward, we're going to have to see if we start to see more of these ransomware attacks in our nation this election season. Reporting live in Cobb County, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News. All right, Trayson, we'll be watching that very carefully. Thank you so much. Now it's